Hello everybody, this is me, Subhuman HJ here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Review My Collection. And today we're going to be taking a look at the World Nintendo Star Power figures. I'm, I'm going to call them that just because there is Mario and Luigi, and I can't really just call them Mario, uh, Star Power Mario figures, you know, because there, there are different characters. Now, as far, I think, as of right now, I have the whole collection of them, or the whole set of the Star Power figures. Um, they actually don't really come in a set, but I'm just categorizing, I'm categorizing these dice based on what they are. So, like, in this, in, for this example, uh, here, uh, like, these dice are mostly the Star Power variants of the Brothers. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna call them the Star Power fi uh, figure set, or something like that. <laughs> so, yep, this, this is a total of... Nine figures, I believe. I, uh, I'm just going this off the top of my brain. And I do have the accessory for the 4 inch figures, so we'll be taking a look at that also. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to consider this a figure, then I guess 10 figures in this set. But, you know, it's more of an accessory, so I, I, I kind of don't want to count it. So, yeah, let's begin, shall we? As, actually, um, this is this is going to come out um, after the eBay finds video, and that's just because I, I kind of want to get, I, I get this over with. Um, this is sort of easy to do, so, yeah. And stay tuned for more information on the on my feed on the next video of Paper Mario. The, um, based on the Paper Mario the origami team, I'm gonna go more into that. I'm gonna go more into that uh, at the end of this video. So yeah, stay tuned. So let's get that out of the way and let's begin with the 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 star accessory. Um, this is what comes in the packaging. This is what comes with the uh, the Star Power Mario figures. Now I don't know if there's a foreign Star Power Luigi. As far as I know, there's not. Uh, if I'm wrong, do uh, please correct me in the in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this is just the uh, ordinary star, f star f power figure, whatever you want to call it, just a normal star. And yeah, nothing really, you know, shocking about it. It's just a yellow star with black eyes. It's, it's pretty much just the same thing as any other star figure or star toy that's ever come out. So yeah, pretty basic, but still cool. So, uh, let's actually start off with the uh, Star Pass Stanley Mario since that, uh, I did review that in the eBay Finds video. So, um, like I said, I did review this in the eBay Finds video. If you want to check that out, check, if you want to check that out, the code will be right there on the top of the right-hand screen. So, if you want to check that out, by all means, do so. But, um, just to keep it short and simple, um, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, it's obviously this, the Stanley, this, uh, this is like the, uh, another variant of the, of the Standing Mario. But this time in a star power form. He, ha he has like this oily effect to it. Which I guess is supposed to represent the, the star power. Which you know I think it's cool. It's a nice little uh, effect. Um, I, I kind of just worry that you know the oil. <laughs> uh, watery pastel effect whatever. Uh, is going to wear off sometime soon. Um, but yeah you know for this I like this. Uh, it does have three articulations. Uh, two on the hands. Uh, two in the arms and then one in the uh, the head. So yeah, pretty cool figure. I like it a lot. Uh, next up here, let's start off with the uh, this guy right here, the very first Star Power Mario. Um, he is a limited limited edition uh, Walmart exclusive. Now, what's weird about the packaging is that uh, it says one of three thousand. Now, I don't know if that's actually true. I don't know if Jet Specific actually did make three three thousand of these guys. Um, because if they did, I probably I I will probably see them all over the in on eBay right now, but. I guess for collectors wise, they don't want to sell them, which is a little bit weird. And so yeah, taking a look at this packaging, because this is like one of the very first figures that came out. Um, it's a, uh, it, the packaging is is red, and not white, and on the back here we have pretty much the bio of Mario and the Star Power Mario. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be a Mario Party Nine piece of art artwork with with uh, Mario and the Star. And here at the bottom, we have limited edition 1 of 3,000. Like I said, I don't know if that's actually true, if they did make 3,000 of them. But if they did, that is cool. And <laughs> speaking of cool, here was this guy. The very first Star Power Mario figure. Now, very funny story. Um, When I first, uh, just, I first went to, like, I was going to stay at a friend's house one, one night. And before I did go to my friend's house, uh, my mom and... My friend's mom decided to you know, like, hey, let's go meet up at Walmart so that way um, my mom doesn't have to drive all the way over there. So um, it, it was more of like a transfer from one parent to another, you know. So I was I was going to go with my friend's mom to um, their house. 
And yeah, we, we decided to stop by at Walmart and in South Carolina. And when I was looking through the shelves, I noticed these they had like these one Nintendo figures. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Let me go look at. Let me go see what they have in each art in, in each checkout lane. And one of them had this guy right here, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. I want it. So my mom bought it for me, and yeah, the rest is history. So I have <laughs> put it possibly the old like. One of the rarest figures of them all in the one Nintendo line. And that is the Star Power Mario. And he is cool. Like I said, it's a little bit weird how they went with this design. Um, like I said, I don't really mind the the uh, like, like the watery effect on it. But yeah, pretty cool. Like, so he does have three points of articulation. Like it's the, it, it's the same thing with the standing uh, Star Power Mario. Uh, he has two of them in his arm and then one in his head. So yeah, pretty cool. I like this one a lot. I really, really love this guy a lot just because of the backstory and how cool he is. And also, it's actually kind of very interesting. Uh, interesting how Jet Pacific went decided to go with Star Power Mario first instead of like a basic Mario design. So that's that's a little bit weird. Uh, next up we have is the Eight Bit Star Power Mario. This one is a Walgreens exclusive. And I know for a fact that uh, I've covered some of these guys before, like for example, these three guys here and then the two 8-bits. But just for the sake of this video, I am going to include them in this video too. But I will keep it short and simple just because, um, like I said, if they, if it's already been done, if, if I already reviewed them before, then I'm not going to go too deep into them again. But it's the same thing with all of the other figures. Um, it, it does have like this oily effect to it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's obviously just, it's obviously just eight bit Mario, but in a star power, but in a star power variant. It's not really his star power variant because in the game he's like he flashes multiple colors, but here they just decided to give him a nice little uh, oily effect. So that's cool. Next up, we have a star power Luigi. It's the same thing as his eight bit star power Mario. Nothing new, nothing less, but pretty cool figure overall. So yeah, uh, this one actually was not was not an exclusive. Uh, you can find them pretty much, I believe, anywhere at Target or and Walmart. I found this guy at Walmart. So, uh, yeah, actually, and I do believe he did get a re-release in a in this sort of packaging. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't really remember the uh, the checkout lanes or the checkout waves at Walmart. All right, next up here we have is the running uh, Star Power Mario. Now, if you have noticed. The stand doesn't fall off. If he had checked out, if he uh, if he had watched my video on this on the standing, um, on my review of the standing figures, uh, the top would be right there if you want to check it out. Uh, I did mention how these stands fall off, and if you did see that, you're probably wondering, hey, Jason, how did you um, how did you not make the stand fall? Well, I glued them. I'm getting sick and tired of uh, these stands falling, and I decided to glue them to glue them once and for all. And yeah, and because of that, it works, you know, like the standing, the, the stand doesn't fall off, so now I don't have to worry about having to put it back on. Um, so, yep, <laughs> besides that, the figure itself is great, um, with the stand not falling, that is. And yeah, he, uh, he does, I believe he only has, no, he, he, okay, so he does have three articulations. It's, it's, it's really the same thing as these guys, with, uh, two in his arms and one in his head. Um... So yeah, I, I like this pose very much. It's pretty cool. The uh, the stand like, like the effect is the same as overall as the others, and yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, <laughs> design overall. I really like this one a lot. You see, look how perfect that is. That's so amazing. Next up here we have is another standing star. Uh, no, another running star power mod. But this time, it's based off this guy and that guy back there. Yay! <laughs> Um, this one is actually very weird. I have no idea why Jazz Pacific would do something like this again. It's only they already have the base. Like, they already have a way to do this type of stuff. So, it's very interesting for me to see them go back to this. Um, but overall, pretty cool. Like I said, it's a little bit weird. But for what it is, I can, like, I can let this slip by. So, yeah, pretty cool. But like I said, it's very interesting how Jazz Pacific went, decided to go, oh, Whoops, gotta make sure that he doesn't knock his brother off or his, whatever you want to call his partner off. Um, but yeah, it's very weird how they went with this design again, you know, like, 
It, like, it's very weird. Next up here, we have a star power Luigi now. Um, he is great. He has two, you know, he, ha he still has, well, actually, yeah, three points of articulation, two in his arms, and then one in his head. And the figure is great overall, but the problem is that it's this real thing on his face. I have no idea what it is. I bought this off of eBay like a couple months ago. Um, and I did not see that at all in the images that they provided. If I had seen that, I would have avoided it as much as possible. But uh, this was going for like like the cheapest one online on eBay. So I was like, hey, no, let me get this one. And when I opened it, I saw this and I like, no, I don't know what this is. I tried scratching it off, but it doesn't seem to be coming off anytime soon. So that is a big disappointment. <laughs> I, I'm i thinking about getting a, a second one just because of that build mark on his face. Um, but... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have glued this one because I could just get I I could I could just give this one like my little brother or something. Whoops. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, he is overall Luigi's overall great. I don't know what this part is supposed to be from. Uh, if it's supposed to be from Super Mario 3D World or what? But um, it's a pretty cool figure overall. As you can see, the oil effect is going cr crazy on this guy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's put you back there. Overall, great figure, but I just, oh, I hate how that, I hate that stupid mark in his face. Like, I don't know what it is. Alright, so that is it for the 2.5 inch figures as of now. I just reviewed seven of them, which are, did, which do come in the 2.5. Uh, excuse me, I had to bump there for a little bit for, in the set. And now it's time to review the 4 inch figures. Uh, so I, oh man, I mean, I feel like my voice is like, like my, my throat is like not having my voice be like to where it's supposed to be at. So that's why I'm having a cough just a little bit, you know, it's not because I have this virus that's been going around lately. No, it's just not, it's something that it's just that my throat sort of feels like it's stuck and I need to like cough, cough something out. Huh. All right. So anyway, so back to the video, uh, let's start off with this guy right here. Um. Funny enough, uh, <laughs> I found these two guys on uh, eBay, so, yep, there we go. And actually, I do think this guy did come with the star power uh, accessory. Actually, or maybe he didn't. No, I think he came without the accessory. This guy did come with the accessory, okay. Um, so here is star power Mario with open hands. Um, I don't think they ever did one with his hands closed. As far as I know, this is the only one that I saw. Um, so yeah, uh, he does have... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points of articulation, I think. <laughs> and yeah, he's a pretty cool figure overall. Um, like I said, he's based off of the uh the Mario with open hands pose and just Pacific just took him and just put him in this oil effect thingy and just called it Star Power Mario. So uh yeah, nothing really new here with this design. Um, but overall, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. Let's put you back there. And then let's start off with this. And then last but not least, uh, this Star Power Mario Four Inch Figure. Now, like I said, this is obviously this is obviously based off of the, this guy right here. And I do believe he came out before this guy, so it did make sense as to why Jazz specifically want to go with this. And yeah. Funny enough, these two guys, the, the four inch figures are not exclusive. They're actually, they were actually being sold everywhere that a, uh, that a store could hold toys at. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, the figure is clear. I should have said, I should have said that with both of these guys right back here is that they do come in this like clear base on the figure. And then just specific just put the, or the star effect over it or the oil effect, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, he, he should have, he does have, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 11 points of articulation. I, I, just, I think as of right now, I don't know. I don't have the packaging, so I can't really tell. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Like I said, I did, I did find this off of eBay. I don't know if I did an eBay finds video off of it. I think I just opened it up and not did a video on it, <laughs> which is funny. There we go. Alright, so that's it for this uh, video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let, me know, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite out of this uh, set. Oh, 
small little collection or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I love these dice a lot. Like I said, I really do like how they went with this, uh, how they made these dice. Um, the oil effect is cool. I'm just a little bit, I, I am worried about the effect sort of wearing off over time. Uh, just, it's, it's sort of happening with these two dice back here. Like, you know, I, I can't, like, you can't really see the effect on, like, these dice back here. So, yeah, I am worried about that. Like, the effect is going to wear off over time. And if it doesn't, it's going to be sad to see them, you know, sort of go. And, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, nothing really much to say. Um, but before I go, I do want to mention about the Paper Mario video. I am going to be making it, and it's going to be coming out on Monday, so stay tuned. As far as, as far as I know, I live in Texas, so I'm going to I'm gonna have this video published out at 6 o'clock p.m. Here, at least in where I live, I don't know what, I don't know what time it's going to appear in I don't know what time it's gonna appear in your feeds, uh, if you wherever you live. So I can't really give um, specific times. All I will say is that it does. It is. It is gonna come out on Monday. And if you live in the south area, and if you live on the southern side of the country, then expect it to be out at six, six o'clock p.m. So yeah, Bill, I'm for that. And I was gonna mention something early, but I completely forgot. Mm, I don't. I don't know what I was gonna say. But yep. Yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video of me reviewing these nine guys. Ten if you want to count the star, the the, the star accessory right here. Uh, if you do, then okay, then I guess I review ten figures in this set. But for now, I'm just gonna say nine uh, because the the star is an accessory, and you know, you, nobody really cares about the accessories so much. And yeah, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, actually, I will see you guys in the next paper in the next video, which will be Paper Mario, the old Army King. My problem with the villain, uh, in this in the game. That's not that's not the official title. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just rambling off off off. Of, oh, I'm just rambling off here. <laughs> oh, I can't speak. So yeah, I will see you guys on Monday, and after that, it'll be story time of my experiences at Pat South, specifically with the tournament. So. I look forward to that, and yeah, I will see you. I will see you guys in the next video. This is Simple Man Day. Oh, hold on, let me redo that. This is Simple Man Day signing out.